Look at the egg. Yeah. We're gonna make a baby T-Rex. Yeah. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Today we're playing with a tiny human. We're teaching him how to play Ark. You excited, bud? Yeah. Yeah. And T-Rexes are his favorite. So we're gonna see if we can get a nice mutated baby Rex for him. You think we'll get lucky? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna take 13 seconds. So, anyways, do you see our cool saber tooth? Mm hmm. Yeah, you like cats, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, are we almost done? Come on, you gotta cross your fingers for a mutation. Huh? Alright, cross your fingers for a mutation. That's close. You almost got it. And what do we get? Ready? <gasps> it's a baby. I got it. Yeah. It's not a new mutation. It's all, it's a mint green. But no new mutation. Mm -hmm. Ow. You want, you want to tame a big sloth today? Yeah. Yeah? I want to ride a purple. You want to ride the purple Capra Succus? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, I don't know if we have it. Oh, we did. We did leave a saddle on it. You like purple? Yeah. Oh, I'm encumbered. What's encumbering it? All the stuff. Everything is encumbering it. Why do I have so many berries? Did you stick all these berries on me? Huh? You being shy? Yeah, you're being shy. Okay. So, we got a Caprosuchus. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, we got more in here. <laughs> Look at them all. Is that an egg? <gasps> Ooh, an egg. I guess. We can go ahead and hatch this one up, huh? You want to see a baby one? Yeah. All right. Uh, should hatch any second. Wow, that was like instantaneous. Oh, we didn't get the mutation onto it. Aren't they so cute? What's that? It's a baby Caprosuchus. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? All right, so we're going to tame up some sloths today, right? Yeah? Ah, well, that's what we're doing. We need pants, though. See? We don't have any pants. We're like you. Pantsless. It's terrible. And so we need to repair all of this stuff. We need crystal. Well, we got all of this. And we can pull some crystal into here. Have you seen a big sloth yet? Mm-hmm. You have? Where'd you see a big sloth from? The zoo? Yeah. Yeah, you like the zoo, don't you? Uh-huh. So do I. Okay, so. We got all the things we need to tame a big sloth. But we need honey, too. And now... Do you know how to get honey, bud? Mm, no. From bees. Bees make honey. Which means we have to get it out of here. But I don't have any gilly. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Actually, we're gonna wait to do that. Because it spoils super fast. So we're gonna go out and look. For a... What is dying? Something's dying. Okay, we're gonna go find a sloth. They're super cool, yeah. and they're really, really good for harvesting. I'm actually kind of curious to see how well they harvest silk, because I go through a lot of silk because I die a lot. So we're gonna go ahead, and pretty sure there's a sloth right over here, unless it has died already, which is a possibility. It has. It What's certainly that? has. What's what? That. Down here. That. This one? Yeah. That's a thorny dragon. We need to tame some of those, too. Wait, that. It's a thorny dragon. Why that? <laughs> and then we've got a, a Morella tops down here. You remember these. Alright, but yeah. We're gonna go find a sloth. And uh, we'll be back. There it is. It's still here. One big sloth. I don't remember if they're aggressive. What's that? This is a megatherium. Can you say megatherium? Megatherium? <laughs> What's that? Level 18. Do you want to tame it still? That's a wagon monkey. It's not a monkey. It's a sloth. Yeah, and we don't have anything to tame it because daddy's not the smartest person on earth. So, we're going to go back and get our taming stuff. And, uh, I'm really just going for 
Ooh, there's another one. What level are you? You think it's high level? Oh, it's grumpy. It's very grumpy. Can we walk up to it when it's grumpy? Yeah. Level... Oh. The, I think it's mad at us. The owl oh! Okay, yep. Oh, man. That thing must be high level. That hurt. That hit for, like, a freaking Mack truck. So, let's go get some taming stuff. And we'll tame up that big brown one. Yeah. One. Yeah. We didn't see this one. Do you think it's higher level than the other ones? Yeah. Level 18. Oh, oh, we made it mad. Oh! Get on the wyvern! Jeez, what? Oh, you're... Get your hand off the keyboard. <laughs> I'm like, why are we spinning? Why can't we control anything? You were trying to, uh, trying to get us killed, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, at least you admit it. Okay, so... I think this was the higher level one, right, bud? Yeah. Yeah, or is it down there? I guess we could use our spyglass, that would be smart. There it is! Yeah. What level is it? Not 66! Could be worse. Could be better. What level is this one? The one that's just looking at his hand like, Burr! Level 6? What? What? To all of them. Yeah. We gotta go out this. Well, I want this one, but it's fighting a... Whoa! Ow! Jeez, they're so angry, bud. Oh. Yeah. Why are they so angry? I'm not a bug. I can't kill the murder chicken. Oh, no, it's gonna die. Oh, no. Stupid murder chickens ruining everything. Okay, well, we got the murder chicken back. Let's go ahead and uh, find some higher level ones. If we're going to tame one, we want a high level one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the hunt for high level megatherium is taking way too long. My kid abandoned me. He decided Ninja Turtles was way, way more cooler than running around looking for megatherium. And I've just killed a whole bunch. So I'm just waiting for him to respawn. Figured I'm going to go ahead and... See if we can get some Hyenodon babies. That's right. We need some babies in our lives. You guys wanna... Whoa! Man, we got ones floating all over the place. Did I forget to put them on wandering? Nope, you're on wandering. Uh, you gonna make the, uh, the sexy times? No? Why not? Are you guys ready to mate? Pretty sure you're ready to mate. Yeah! Come on! You know you want to. Hmm. Game's being weird. It seems they've, uh, they're not wanting to breed. This one's the same, almost the same distance away from the other one. And they won't, they won't get their groove on. Kind of disappointing. So, maybe we're just going to have one baby. I don't know what's going on. It's a little weird. It was working. I don't know why it's not now. Can you go in here and get your groove on with these two? Oh, come on, game. Don't do this to me. There we go. Oh. Oh, we're so close. And, can you jump? Why can't I? Wow, something, something's funny going on. Funny. Ah, uh, everything's broken. I should have just stuck with what I was doing and found some darn megatherium. Ugh. There we go. Do it. Ah. Okay, well, we're going to have a levitating baby, which is cool. These guys will get their groove on. I guess what I'll do is... Gonna go find some more Megatherium. Well, they're gonna take a little little while to spawn. But I did just level up. Which means I might be able to craft the thing we've been waiting to craft forever. I need a industrial... Did they change it to level 89? You've gotta be kidding me. This was, this was not level 89 before. I swear. This is ridiculous. I just got high enough level to learn it. And now I can't. I hate everything. We'll be back. Oh my god, this only took... Oh, what's happening? We're falling! What the hell was that all about? Okay. Wyvern's got a mind of its own. So, level 156 male megatherium. Only took literally all day. It's been six hours, seven hours, something like that. I don't know. Long ass time to be walking around. Looking for frickin' Megatherium. Good lord. That was a decent level Sabertooth, too. So, 
We are kind of far from home, but it's not too bad. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hop up here, like so. Get a little distance between us and uh, knock this puppy out. I really need to craft a scope for this thing. Thankfully, they're a big enough target to where this shouldn't be much of a problem. <laughs> it just looks around like, what hit me? I don't understand. I will never understand. Yes, get stuck in it. Whoa, it's getting all goofy. What you doing there, buddy? You you just want to be friends, don't you? Oh, 244? Oh. They take more damage when they're grumpy. I forgot about that. So when they're enraged, they do take more damage. I noticed this didn't happen the first time I knocked one out, which is a little strange. So I wonder if this came out in an update or if it attacked, or if it attacked a bug once it got butt hurt that I'm here. So we're just gonna go go ahead and knock this buddy out. We're gonna get him tamed, and everything should be splendid. Of course, there's a pig. All up in my grill. We gotta kill the pig. Man, that thing's doing an ass load of damage. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get knocked out and I'll bring you guys back. Of course, there's a di- Oh, yes, it's gonna kill the dire wolf. Okay. I was getting a little nervous there for a second because it's enraged. And uh, the dire wolf was just running it in circles. Which is kind of nerve-wracking. But I think we should be able to get it knocked out without too much of an issue. God, that does so much damage. Oh, it's super butthurt. If only it also did more Torpor damage. Oh, we did it! Yes! It came flying off the cliff. It was up on the cliff, like, uh, stuck on a rock, and I shot it in the booty hole one more time, and it turned around, jumped off the cliff like it was lunging at me, and then passed out on the ground. Uh, doesn't get much better than that. I just want to make sure everything's dead, because I do have to go get our honey. And then once I get the honey, then we should be fine. Yeah, okay, Torpor goes down slow enough. So it gives us some time to let it starve up anyways. I just want to make sure anything that's around that can kill it is dead. That's a cool looking Zorse. Too bad it's dead. Alright, so we're back. I also knocked out a smaller female. Or not a smaller female, but a lower level female. And we've got our pair. So, we need to go ahead and get this one. Oh, okay, this is not going to even take all the honey. Uh, ah, crap, it already ate everything. So, 47%, we had 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we can go ahead and grab a couple of these. About that many. And we can go down here to the other female. Which I probably should have checked to make sure there was nothing down here that's going to murder me. Uh, yeah, everything should be fine. This one's level 60, I think. Still, not bad. And we can breed it with the male to be able to get the same level anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, squirt those in you. And hopefully that is enough to get you fully tamed. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be plenty. So we're going to go ahead and get these two fully tamed up, and I'll see you all in a little bit. Alright, things are looking good. This fine gentleman is down to his potential. I, yeah, last bite. So... Should be taking a bite here momentarily. We got 99.7% taming effectiveness. Hell yeah. So we're going to get 77 levels off of this bad boy. It's going to be quite a nice megatherium. I'm excited to see how well these perform at a high level. When I tamed my first one uh, on the island, it wasn't very high level. And was still doing pretty good damage. So definitely excited to mess around with these. And... To see what they look like as babies. I imagine they look pretty freaking derpy as babies. Especially with their whole like derp pose they get when they level up. The cuddle's gonna be super cute. Come on. You know you want to be friends. Oh, we did it. Um, what are we gonna call you? Uh, well, we had honey butt on the island. We're gonna do honey butt this time. Or no, it was honey enema. <laughs> uh, we're changing your name to honey enema. Change name. Chain? Yeah, there we go. The lag is real. Honey enema. Oh, Jesus, game. Well, you're honey enema now. You're just gonna have to deal with it. We'll, we'll fix that later. Alright, let's see. Uh, all right, Lightning Wyvern's gonna have to just chill there for a second. Oh, these things are so weird. 109 damage. Now, if we right click. No, is it C? 
or we just have to kill a bug. So we have to kill a bug to get any other move. We do have a right click. So we got a right click bite and a swipe. And I believe if memory serves, the right click does quite a bit more damage. We're going to go ahead and grab the female. Um, I don't know what we're going to call her. Maybe butt chug. That's, that's just weird. Let's not go there. Let's keep things just a little normal, I suppose. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these bad boys and girl in the back to base. What's over here? Is this a bug? It's an Ankleo. Hiding. Sneaky Anky. Ugh. So, yeah. We're going to get back to base. We're going to make some babies. They're going to get their groove on. She's ready. Yeah. Butt chug and honey enema. Getting their groove on. Completely forgot to show you guys the statisticals. We've got, uh, for Honey Enema, we got 5,032 health, uh, 1,800 stamina, weight, 1,073, pretty damn good, 434, 443.2% melee damage and 100% movement speed. So yeah, pretty good. I, I just saw a saber tooth up here, and I'm thinking we're gonna test out the left and right click here in a second. Where'd it go? <sighs> Ooh, a micro raptor. I love killing me some micro raptors. So yeah, the uh, the right click definitely does quite a bit more damage. I'm kind of nervous going near the water because of the stupid capra succuses. These things cannot swim either. Wait, can they swim? I'm not gonna test it out. I don't feel like getting molested by a freaking capra today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for butt chug and honey enema to get their groove on. Can we uh, enable wandering and enable wandering? You guys are super excited, aren't you? To see their vinegar strokes. By the way, if you guys don't know what vinegar strokes are, look up uh, The League. Only the best show ever, especially if you like fantasy football. Not really. It's just hilarious. Watch it. Uh, shameless advertisement. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're getting their groove on, and they look very displeased with the whole situation. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait, and then I'll bring you guys back when the baby's about to pop out. I just realized I have no idea what this baby's gonna eat. I'm pretty sure it's just berries, but it's about to squirt out. And he's second out. Whoa! There it is. Level 183. Much better. Are you going to be a female? You're a male. And you are the ugliest creature ever created. All right, so you do eat berries, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get a, get a better look at that face. <laughs> he's like, I'm so displeased with everything. Please go away. I'm not happy with your presence. <laughs> oh, they're ridiculous looking. That's... Oh, it's a, it's a baby only a mother could love. Goodness gracious. Speaking of which, family picture day. Come on, people. Things. Megatherium. You big sloth creatures. We need a picture of the fam. Come hither, children. I guess the wyvern can be in the background, since it's following Honey Enema. Come on, little dude! Actually, we'll put you guys, stop you guys. We'll disable wandering on you, because we very often forget to disable wandering for family picture day. We finally get them set up perfectly, and lo and behold, it moves. But we didn't forget this time. No, we did not. <laughs> Come on. Come on! If only my kid didn't, uh, abandon me to watch Ninja Turtles, he could appreciate this with me. Oh, hello. Picture day. You guys, oh, thanks for pooping in the middle of the picture. You had one job. Don't poop. Can you guys just, they're posing so perfectly for the photo. <laughs> the kid's just like, meh. I'm very displeased with this whole situation of life. Okay, so, Wyvern, you need to not be in the background. You kind of... Messing up the- Stop! Where are you? Butt chug. Really? You just had to ruin everything, didn't you? You felt it completely necessary. Well, okay, well the wyvern's gone. Who's got the saddle? I got the saddle. <sighs> Struggle is real. I want to see what the cuddle looks like. And then, uh, I'll be happy with this whole situation. Now I am going to go for, uh, full mutations on these. But since this one came out of mail, I'm kind of screwed for the day. Which is unfortunate, because I was hoping I would get a female and I could just continue breeding as much as I pleased. But, beggars can't be choosers and you're just stuck with what you get. So, 
Um, if you guys do want to see mutations of these in the future, let me know in the comments below. But I'm sure you do. Everyone loves seeing mutations of the new dinos. And, uh, and I do too. I think they'll be pretty cool. Although they only seem to have two uh, color options. The skin and the fur. So, they might not be able to be the most interesting uh, mutated creatures ever. Unless, maybe, we've got a face color, a nose and hand color, and then a skin color. I think that's kind of what it looks like. Or not skin color, but, um, you know what I'm talking about. Fur. There we go. Yeah, so we've probably got like a full body color, and then a nose and hands, and then a fur. So, it might be able to be interesting if we could get like... A black body with red fur and a pink nose? You wanna be, a uh, Rudolph the Pink Nose Megatherium? I bet you do. How long do we have to till your cuddle? Six minutes and twenty seconds. Sweet baby Jesus, we'll be back. We better get a cuddle that we can use. Well, I'm gonna be super butt hurt. Super duper butt hurt. Come on. Give me, a, like, a regular cuddle or a walk. Okay, a walk. I, that, I can deal with a walk. Come on, little baby. You wanted to go on a walk? He's like, screw that. Where are you? Whoa, Nelly. Where do you think you're going? Okay, I want to see if he does like the whole derp level up one or if they got like a, a unique cuddle. I don't think that's even a thing. Did you do it? Oh, woe is me. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. So, yep. We're going to try and get mutations on these in the future. I've still got a bunch of mutations I'm working on between the Hyenodons, the uh, Euteranus, and a bunch of other- Oh, speaking of which, you're a normal one, don't care. Any in here? You're- well, we care if you're a female. What are you? You're a female. You need sustenance. Oh shit, Biscuits. Oh, whoa. Whoa. We got hyenodons all up in the joint. Female. Okay, I probably should have checked all these. Oh, they're dead. Did not get... Uh, I didn't even think they were breeding. I thought... Well, screw that all up. Screw the pooch on that one. <laughs> no pun intended. That's a nasty pun. That is disgusting. Those of you who thought that, terrible people. No, I'm just kidding. You're not terrible. I'm terrible. But anyways, that is all I've got for today's episode. Man, there are dead babies everywhere. I am the worst breeding parent ever. <gasps> I got some eggs. Finally caught. Oh, nobody gives a crap about non-fertilized eggs. Man, there's just so many freaking terror birds in here and they're never mutating. I haven't seen one mutated one yet. So, anyways everybody, that is all I've got for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you did like the video, don't forget to share your support and smash that like button for me. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye